A lot of it comes down to your mindset. I mentioned earlier, rejection. Rejection is part of this business, you know, whether we're working with buyers and they end up going with somewhere else, with someone else and they ghost you, or whether you are, you know, on the phones and then someone yells at you or, or cusses you out and hangs up, like, it's just a part of the business. Um, I was never like a pro on the phone, but I can tell you that over time, I got thick skin and I knew that that next person could be that yes, that would be able to um, allow me to set an appointment with them, meet up with them, and I could get that property sold. So one of my very first listings that I ever got, I was calling expireds, you know, and I made it a goal to talk to at least 30 people every single day, 30 people. If you're not talking to at least 10 people a day, at least start there. Because again, the more people you talk to every single day, the closer you're going to get to that person that needs your help. And even earlier this morning, I was on a role play session with a Mike Ferry coach. I promoted it uh, on my Facebook group. And he said, you know, at the end of the day, you can make all these contacts, but if you're not setting appointments, you're not really getting anywhere. You're building a database for eventually some of these people to convert, but the goal is to set an appointment. And for me, that was my goal. My goal was to at least set an appointment every single day. Now, that may be too much for you. Maybe you want to set your, your goal to set at least one appointment a week. But for me, I said, you know what? I'm doing this full time. I don't have any deals. I need to hit the phones because I want listings. So I was making 30 contacts every day. And this specific day that I'm going to share with you, I remember that it was around four o'clock and I wanted to just hang up already. I wanted to stop because I kept on getting people that were upset and aggravated. And then I got to this phone call and it was an older gentleman. And he said, oh, you realtors sound the same. You're all horrible. And here's the thing. When you hear someone on the phone kind of go off, it's because they probably had a bad experience. And many times they are still motivated to sell. So if someone is staying on the phone with you, it's because they probably had some type of motivation. And because they didn't sell, that affects now their plans or what they wanted to do or even their life. So in this case, the gentleman, he kept on talking bad about realtors. I saw that he had been on the market for like 200 plus days, which now got me curious as to what happened. So I just started asking open-ended questions. I asked, you know, I see that you, you were on the market for over 200 days. What happened? What do you think stopped the home from selling? Where would you be moving to next? So as I'm having this conversation with this gentleman, turns out that he was 65. He lived in a home that was over 3,000 square feet and the home was too big for him. He could barely go up the stairs. He said, I rarely go up the stairs. So I knew that this gentleman needed to sell. Not because I wanted to get a listing and a paycheck, but because this man's health was on the line. If he stayed in that house, he could possibly fall and break a hip or something worse could happen. So I kept on, on asking questions. I had my script, and that's something that I recommend for you to do. Always have at least a script in front of you when you're making calls. So as I was going down the questions that I needed to find out to see if this is a person that I could actually help, um, it turns out that he was adamant about a certain price that he wanted to sell the property for. And he said, you know, I want 1.5 million. And that was his thing, 1.5. As I kept asking more questions, it turns out that selling at market value, he would net what he want in his pocket. And what had happened was that the previous agents were listing the property for 1.5 when in reality market value was 1 million. And that's why this property was just not selling. And those agents were doing a disservice to the seller. Long story short, ended up listing that property, ended up selling it and representing both the buyer and the seller. And that was from an expired call from a gentleman that sounded pissed and upset and was probably one of the last people that I spoke that I spoke to that day. So many of you, maybe you have started making calls or maybe you tried making calls and someone was rude to you on the phone and then you just decided to hang up or give up on it because, I don't know, they hurt your feelings. 
in this business, look, people are going to hurt your feelings. That's why you, you can never take any of this to heart. Don't take it personal. You can't be emotionally invested in this because, you know, you can have a bad conversation. And then that next conversation, you're going to get someone that says, you know what, Loida, I'm so glad that you called. I was just talking to my husband about wanting to sell this home. Oh, my God. It's like God sent you. <laughs>